Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, uh, yesterday I showed you how to make this, um, very simple, uh, envelope right here. See? That you can put something inside, like that, and it spins on the table. See? Look. Um, you can make it spin on the, the table, just like that. It spins pretty well. Okay? Alright, so click right here for that video. Okay? But now I'm going to show you how to fold in even more complex version right here this is the version with eyes okay and it also spins not as good as this one okay i like this model better because um it spins better and i, I think it looks cleaner too okay this is a pretty cool model too see and it also has eyes right here okay okay all right want to learn it ready set here goes so get a score sheet of paper and all right so let's begin by folding in half Okay, just like this. We're making a square base, so unfold and fold in half the other way. Okay, just like this. Okay, now let's fold this corner to here. Okay, just like this. Okay, turn over and fold this up to here. Okay, just like that. Now, open here and squash or flatten it down like this. Okay, and here we have the square base. Okay, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold um, this point up to here. Okay, just like that. All right, so here we have the, the basic envelope right here. Okay, see? That, see if you, yeah, to make it spin, you have to fold it in half like this in both ways. Okay, and then you just make those two folds at the at the same time. Okay? Alright, so, um, if you want to put eyes on the model, then here's how to do that. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, uh, we're gonna, um, fold this up like this, and how far do you want to fold it up? Well, this is gonna be how big your, or small your eyes are, okay? Uh, I'm gonna fold it up about like this. It doesn't matter how much you fold it up, okay? If there's no, um, you know, reference point, it doesn't matter how far. I'm going to do it like this, okay, and like that, and repeat on this side. I'm going to do it like that, okay, and crease sharply, okay? All right, so, all right, so now we're going to do, we're going to, um, this is actually kind of a tricky step here. We're going to do, we're going to um, make a, a little, uh, you know, like slanted fold right there, and it doesn't really matter where the slanted fold is, uh, let's see, you can even do it right here if you want, probably, okay? But I'm going to make it right here. Well, this fold is not tricky. It's just, it's kind of, it's more like, it's more arbitrary, okay? So we're going to do, we're just going to, um, see, um, yeah, if you want the, the eyes to be apart more, then we have to do this fold, okay? If you do them like this, they'll be together, okay? Which won't look that good. So, yeah, I'm going to make them apart. So I'm just going to make, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit like this, okay? Make sure that this edge is parallel with the middle. Okay, just like that. Just about like that. So we made kind of, um, we made a pleat fold right there. See? This is called a pleat fold. Okay? That's the name of the fold. Okay? Alright, and repeat on this side. So I'm going to make the slanted fold about right here. Okay? And now I'll just bring it down a little bit. And make sure the, the edge is parallel with the middle. Okay? And crease it. Parallel, in case you don't know, means that they do not touch. Okay. See, see how this is um, this is parallel with that. Okay. See, it's not touching. Okay. That's what parallel means. It, it does. They don't touch. Okay. All right. And now we're gonna do, we're just gonna squash fold the eyes. Okay. So yeah, the eyes are closed right now. But to open them, we need to squash fold them. So yeah, we're just gonna um. We're just going to open this up right here, and we're just going to squash it so that this point comes to that point. Squash or flatten it down. Just like that. Okay? Like this, and now let's fold this point to that point. Okay? So yeah, we're really opening up the high now. Okay? Just like that. And crease it. See? And there's one eye. And now, repeat on this side. See? Just like this. 
Yeah, when you open this up, it helps to put like a pen or a pencil inside. But you can do it with your bare hands too. And fold it over. Just like that. And now it has eyes. Okay. And we are done. Okay. And you can just make those two folds again just to make it spin. And now let's give it a try. Oop. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it in one spot because yeah, I'm doing it on video, so yeah. So yeah, it doesn't it doesn't spin as good as this one. Okay. That's why I like this one better because it looks I think it looks better and um I think it looks nicer and it spins better. Okay. I think this one spins better because it's probably more aerodynamic, probably. I don't know why it spins better, okay? Yeah, this is not folded from a square base like this model is, okay? This model, yes, it's from a square base, this model's not, okay? So, yeah. And I also like this model better because it's easier to fold, too, okay? God, I can't stop playing with it. This is freaking, this is a cool model. I think it's a lot cooler than this model is, okay? But this is a pretty cool model, too. Okay, all right, and yes, it, it is an envelope. You can put something inside, like you can just open that. Up. You can just open this up, and you can put like something inside. What, what can we put it? Maybe a fidget spinner, maybe. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, this is probably one of the most popular things for school age kids. Cause yeah, people like this. Cause you know it's been for a really long time. Okay, I love that. That's one of my favorite things, okay? Alright, anyways, hope you enjoyed folding this, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.